Welcome to today's vlog. Hope you're all okay. Yeah, kids went off to school again, absolutely fine this morning. Sam is doing his Strictly Come Dancing, and also he said he's got his Spanish lessons as well, which he absolutely loves Spanish. He was saying something to me in Spanish earlier on. I was like, What? What? He's learned the days of the week, some numbers, and also months of the year, and something else as well. I can't think what he says. Maybe what looks like he's gone off happy. Also, Ben's got his trip today. He's going off to the local farm. He's been a farmer for the day, bless him. Yeah, farmer Ben. So, yeah, hopefully, he's going to enjoy it. We used to go to a special needs farm and he used to love it there and he used to love like feeding all the calves and like helping bottle feeds like all the baby animals were there and collecting all the chickens eggs and that sort of thing so yeah but i know today they're gonna help my call out the animals and that sort of thing they're even providing a lunch for them as well which i thought is really really nice the only thing we've had to provide is like extra snacks extra drinks so yeah so sent in a couple of drinks for ben um, also then just like I said just a few extra snacks like a packet of crisps he's got a banana in his bag he's got his yogurt so that sort of thing as well so because again if they're going to be working they're going to get really really hungry as well so I know for the fact he's going to come home ratty because I know he's going to be tired and also probably muddy as well so yeah he's had to go in clothes you don't mind getting him getting wet muddy dirty he's also gone in with his wellies a waterproof bottoms and also something else oh and also some gardening gloves yeah and they needed gloves so yes that was absolutely fine so this would be nice if he could tell us though when he comes in from school what he's actually done but i'm sure school will tell us and they'll also send photos that's one thing they are really really good at though is obviously sending photos in i guarantee you three or four times a week he comes in with loads of photos what he's actually done and it's nice because like it's like I want to say it's like an hour away like a record achievement thing it's just like a little memory bank I suppose with all these photos and stuff yeah he's got a whole load about that thick I think they have so I said to see we need to get some like plastic wallets from the folder stick them all in the folder for him even just laminate them and stick them in the folder that way so but yeah um like I said um I think I've got a feeling he's gonna need a bath for a shower tonight when he comes in from school I've just got a feeling the farm's gonna be a bit wet and muddy so I said to Ben earlier anyway, on you're gonna go to the farm he was shaking his head no like this but yeah he like I said when the bus turned up he couldn't wait to get to school so yeah just can't wait to see pictures and hear what he's got up to today as well so but anyway yeah plans for me today um I managed to get my washing washed and dried over the weekend which is great um I need I need to pull it away so I don't know where to put it away now I'll wait till I come back from work actually to be honest if I think I might do that I also need to um put in bed's medication which I'll do that as well yeah I hate giving all this medication I really really do yeah seven different types of medication a day bless them so if I pull it in now well if it goes in before two o'clock it gets sorted soon today so that should be ready by the end of the week which isn't too bad so but anyway yeah i'll go make myself a cup of tea and then we can start monday <laughs>
just waiting for the boys to come home from school now, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Steve has just made a mess on the floor, so he's just wiped it up. But tell you what, that floor spray stuff is all right, but it makes the floor so slippery, doesn't it, and sticky and stuff. Because it doesn't disappear. It doesn't, that's what I'm saying. It settles. It does. But anyway, yeah, I wonder how Ben got on at the farm today. What? Hopefully he's found what he enjoys. Hopefully. Yeah. Tired or not tired? <laughs> ratty. Yeah. <laughs> he does. It's like you, when you get tired, you get ratty. So, Sometimes um, you can't help it. <laughs> you can't actually, can you? Yeah. Are you do actually, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Disney, what are you doing with the Disney thing, with Diggy Wiggy? The biscuit barrel. If it can't go in there, it needs a clean, look. Unless you want to wash it up by hand. I'm washing it up by hand, thank you very much. Don't want to, don't want to um, thin diggy. Right, Put down the dishwasher. You can do that. Oh, well, yeah, I do that. I wash it up by hand in a bit. I need to do my work bottle anyway, so. But yeah, like I said, hopefully you've had a good day, you know. Yeah. Um, I'll have to wait till they come in. Yes, it's, what's the time now? Half past three, so it's not too bad. I know, yeah, it's great, dark and miserable, isn't it? If I can't, if I open the door. You can see that, I mean, that it is dark, grey, miserable. What are we, 10th of March? 10th of ah. March? It's the 10th, was it the 11th? It's the 11th, Mother's Day was the 10th. Of oh, course it was, yeah, it's the 11th of March. Look how grey it is and stuff. You can actually hear the birds in the trees, which is nice. But, would you believe, earlier on, I was wearing my hat and my gloves at work. Because I was cold! Well, you know? Still, still March, isn't it? Well, technically, it's not officially spring till the 21st of March, West, is it? West thing is, it's going to... What? Go before, ahead. Before you know it, it's going to be May, and then it'll just disappear. disappear. So what did you say? You said you got norm, you got all your Easter eggs coming at work, you said, didn't you? And you said once you've got normal, and then you said... But once Easter goes, it just goes back to bog standard normal stuff. Yeah. And then, what's the next thing? You know what the next thing is, don't you? Halloween. Halloween, yeah, but Halloween, what comes what comes together with it? Oh, yeah. yeah. The C word. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more, but yeah. Like I said, it is nice to come out here, actually, and it's in for the bears yeah. and the trees. What is wrong with this country with the weather? It's bad. It's not like as bad as the government. <laughs> don't talk about the government. Yeah. And so, if anyway, if I zoom in, is that a pigeon up there? Do you think on that tree up there? It's probably a. It's probably a, a a big, big bald eagle. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think it, I if it's a pigeon or not, actually. I think it might be, actually. Bird of yeah, and you can see up there, there's nice little birds up there as well. So, yeah, I can see why Bear in the summer, Ben loves coming out here, doesn't he? And he just lays on his trampoline and just listens to all the bears and stuff. So, be nice if we can get ourselves some proper decent summer stuff this year. You can just sit out here, especially late in the evening. It's like it's nice actually late in the evening out here when it's nice and warm, isn't it? It's really peaceful. And like I said, we like to all here watch all the planes and stuff, but obviously you can't see any planes go over now because it's um, very miserable. Because I've got some uh, time off coming up. I'm going to get, get on this this week. That's yeah. if the weather stays dry. Yeah, the weather needs to stay dry first I because to, I need to pop to the gardens. Yeah. I need to move the trampoline. Move the trampoline the back up here and the ra leak all the waves up down. Yeah, leak all the ra uh, leak all the waves. Leak all the leaves up. Leak all the leaves. What? Lick all the leaves. No, oh, rake all the leaves up. Because I want to go to the garden centre at one point, get a whole load of um, compost so I can start planting my veggies, you know. Because mm. I've got a whole load of veggies and stuff I need to plant. Anyone else out there, comment down below. Whose council loves you to pay for this bin? I know. The bin that contains your garden waste. Yeah. This, this bin this year for the next 12 months is worth 58 quid. I know. 58 quid to get your bin emptied. It is, isn't it? It's so silly, isn't it? What's, course... what's next? They're going to start charging for this one. What's that? The recycle bins. Do you remember the days when it just used to be that and the little box? Yeah, it just used to be a box like this is off. This is a black bin. This is for the normal landfill waste, isn't it? That's a food caddy waste. Once upon a time, they couldn't give a monkeys if you threw uh, um, food waste in that bin, could they? No. Because remember, at one point, like I said, it just used for, like you said, those two boxes for your recycles. Yeah. You, used have, you used to have to put your newspapers in one, then your cans in another. Bottles and cans in another. Yeah, but, but then it terrible. changed. 
they ain't changed into these two bins. Obviously, we've got two bins, haven't we? Which is good because we've got a big black bin. They've given us two blue bins as well. Then, obviously, like I said, then we've got our green bin here oh, as man, well. That, that's the, the uh, council booze money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I don't understand why you have to, actually, to be honest, if you really don't. But anyway, so yeah, I'll show you the things I've got to plant. So yeah, I have got my pots and things ready. Where did I get this from? Was it the. Was it BM? Oh, it's thinking of B&M. There's a new B&M opening this week, isn't there? Oh, yeah, it opens up on Saturday. So I think maybe... I'll avoid it Saturday. I think I'll avoid it well, Saturday. I'll tell you when we'll go, Monday next week when I'm off. Yeah, we'll go Monday next year. So it's going to be quite interesting mm -hmm. because this one that's opened, we're opening up, it used to be a two-floor home base, didn't it? Yeah. So it's quite interesting to see where they have at the second floor. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I think I got this from B&M. It's like a little indoor greenhouse type thing. So, yeah, I've got my little pots here as well so yeah definitely gonna grow some of these i think with these i'll probably just put one in each i have got some runner bean things i'll probably use put some runner beans in those as well so i've got I some there like, hopefully it wouldn't taste as a bit i don't know it's a bit run down yeah now, and also it? got two lots of these square pots i brought these first i couldn't find them I even found them in the garage so yes yeah, so i've got plenty of pots i've got some of them as well, well. You, what do you need to be what do you need to buy soil for you can just go out the garden just fill no no i rather get it with compost <laughs> i have actually got um two lots of seed potatoes as well seed uh, potatoes yes mr potatoes mr pepper pig um but she can see they need going in because they have actually started to sprout so yeah, there's one thing i wish we could grow in this country is bananas yeah, it's too hot though, isn't it? Too cold. Too hot. Yeah, too hot to grow bananas. <laughs> anyway, yes, these are the Mary Piper ones. I've got some of these. I think they only paid like 99p for these or something, so I've got two lots of those. Um, I want you to start all that lot in. In the pots, pots yeah. But I can't put I can't put the potatoes in the pots, I'm gonna have to go straight into the ground. You're gonna to need to get yourself a big pot. What for? Those potatoes. Oh no, yeah. Um they're the runner beans here. Um, it says on here, look, actually, so we endorse from April, so that should be too bad. I should like growing them off now and well, then go from there. Soon, it, it is almost April, yes. Yeah. So I've only got a small packet of beans because last year we grew loads and loads and loads. I found we wasted quite a lot, didn't we? We didn't grow nothing last year. Was it last year? Yeah, before, wasn't it? We didn't bother last year. We didn't bother really? last year, did we, for some reason? Mm. But anyway, like I said, last year, not last year, the year before, I grew lays and I ended up wasting half of them because we didn't eat them because all of them took. And it's like, whoa, all these runner beans, we give half of them away. Um, too many, that's why. As it was, yeah. You don't um, need to plant that many. No, but give a go at growing their own pumpkins again. Um, Sure, well, you know how bad they take over the garden. They do take over the garden, but it's always nice to grow your own pumpkins, though, isn't it? So, we we'll get an allotment. Yeah, I love getting an allotment. Got some courgettes. Again, we love courgettes, especially when we put them in like stir fries and also the pastas and stuff. Why did I put them in last time and it was nice? It was, it was, a, it was a pasta. Was it? Yeah, it was a pasta. And I also, when I do things like shepherd's pies and sandwiches, I try and bulk it out with lots and lots of veggies for the kids. They, they're none the wiser, are they? I've got some cucumbers. Right, what I want you to do this year, right, with yeah. carrot seeds, is I want you to get a pair of tweezers and put them into, like, those little yeah. tiny pots. What? Is it how tiny the little carrot seeds are? Because every time you plant carrots into the garden, they never grow. <laughs> so anyway, cucumber, I'd be happy if I grow some cucumber. Not last year, year before. I've got some little tiny baby cucumbers about that big, didn't I? Mm. And then took them to school. So I've got some of them. And then, obviously, I've got these little vegetable patch. Thing. This has got courgettes, onions, Brussels sprouts, purple broccoli, beetroot, cabbage, and turnips. But if you know what I mean by these little seeds, look, they, they are they go. That's a small carrot seeds, are see, because I can put one of those in those little pots. Yeah, well, right. Just get yourself a pair of eyebrow tweezers and <laughs> do them. And see, you see, they're the courgette ones, they'll be all right. What I think I might do with these little pots is put a couple in or. Anyone, uh, anyone that knows, you've got to grow those seeds separately because they just don't grow if they're like... Oh no, they do, yeah, but no, they need to be fine to put in one per pot. So they're those oh, ones. Why just cheat and go to the garden centre and get some that's already growing? Yeah, they're the beetroot. I never grew beetroot before, so that'd be quite interesting. And then got, got some garden, onions. Which garden centre I like to go to is Bista. Yeah, I've been to Bista garden centre, have we? Then we've got broccoli. Mm. Got the purple broccoli and the cabbage. I've got very many cabbage teas in there, roughly, to be honest with you. Yeah. 
yeah okay we're on mm. and then the other thing here i have brussels and turnips so what seems to grow well in our garden is potatoes runner beans don't they mm. and i should grow i should grow well oh yeah those courgettes that time when um i, had, I actually let them grow too big they turned them in the size of marrows yeah, that. that was funny so yes yeah, so anyway this is something to do now the next couple of days or next couple of weeks or so definitely days but yeah anyway like i said kids will be home from school so yes ben hey did you have a nice time at the farm did you have a nice time seeing all those animals today and helping take care of them yeah did you enjoy that like i said he, do, he does look tired he's not moaning or anything like that which is pretty good oh yeah darling you see how filthy your socks are <laughs> really muddy Again, I've had to quickly stick his coat in the um, washing machine because it's absolutely catered in mud, the blue coat and mud. What? Mm -hmm. Well, his welly boots. Wait, is, is his welly boots covered in mud? It's supposed to be black, they're Oh, right, okay. <laughs> that just goes to prove he's been busy. Then it's feet up, yeah? They did, had a good time though, didn't you? So, obviously, they hadn't written his book because they were late getting back to school. So, how long were you waiting for Ben for? Just a couple of minutes, yeah. Like I said, yeah, there was about five minutes later getting back to school. So, at least you've had a good time, though, haven't you, sweet out, which is good. So, yeah. I'm glad I found his way, is it, actually, to be honest with you. I could just imagine him going to school and he's not going to the farm in his normal boots. But, yeah, no doubt we'll hear about it all tomorrow. And obviously, school will probably send home some pictures and stuff like that. So, but, yeah, then you could tell us, say, Ben, what you've done. That'd be good, though, wouldn't it? Sorry, like I said, he's um, probably hungry now because he ate all of this packed lunch. Mm. Well, as far as I know, he had. I sent the fluff, sent, sent bits and pieces in for him, like the extra snacks and that mm. sort of thing. So, yeah, it'll be just a matter of waiting until it happens as well, wouldn't it? I mean, you, looked, you do look really tired. Don't you go to bed early tonight? Are you? Anyway, Samuel, how was your day at school today? Good. Did you do Spanish? Yeah. Yeah? And do you, did you do your Strictly Come Dancing? Yeah. Yeah. What did we learn today? The tango. You learnt the tango? You tango yeah. in Paris? <laughs> so yeah, you see he's playing Forza Horizon now, so I think he's had enough of Bluey. You almost met. I think he's actually completed Bluey, I think, to be honest with you, so... But yeah. Well, I put my switch in charge. Yeah. Oh yeah, you put your switch into charge, don't you? But what did you, where did you leave it? Bag. Left it in his bag yesterday. We went down to Mum's for God's it's Mother's Day. He took a switch down, and he's coming from school. I can't find my switch. And I said, "Where did you go yesterday?" He goes, "Ah, in my school bag. Not my school bag. My day out bag." So yeah. I brought just... my bits and pieces down. Yeah, you took all. You took all them back up there, aren't you? So really quite surprised to have this switch last night. Actually, when we come back from Mum's, really am. So anyway, what's your school dinner today? My school dinner. My school dinner today, it was check out the potatoes. Oh, yeah, don't, were they nice? Yeah. Cheese and beans on it or just something different today? Cheese and beans. Cheese and beans, so yeah. Uh, I'm not too quite quite sure what I'm going to cook for tea yet. Obviously, Sam, Ben's only had like um, packed lunches and that sort of thing. And they, obviously the snacks, I sent them into school. So, but yeah, let's make sure I have them a good nice dinner. You look blessing. You tired, eh? I remember, how dirty are your hands? No, did check that. Sure, your hands aren't. No, you got nice clean hands actually. And it's like I say, it's come back with everything, including the, including my gardening gloves. So, yeah, <laughs> oh pleasure, sweet. You had a busy day. You had a, such a busy day. Yeah, and you're out next week, aren't you as well? Can't think what day it is. It's definitely not one day next week. It's going to some arts music thing. So that's another all day thing. So. But it's weird because he's doing more now than what he ever did throughout the school. So like I said, it's good for their independence and their life skills and that sort of thing. So yeah. You want my darling? Well then as found that brings Monday to an end once again. Yeah, it's been the normal usual Monday, I'm afraid. We've been at work and Cheryl's been at work and the boys are at school. Looks like Ben's had a good day at the farm because he came home absolutely covered in mud, didn't he? I've had to wash his coat. Yeah, his, coat, his coat was absolutely plastered. I've taken it dry before falling in the morning, so I've stuck it on the radiator. But yeah, um, I'm quite impressed. The thing is, this is what I, I know, obviously, 
bending on them. Well, this is sometimes what we she could talk because she could tell us what you liked and what you didn't like, you know. Yeah, it's like kind of some work experience you've done today, isn't it? I think so, I'm not quite sure actually what it was, I know it's been yeah, quite negative. Pretty cool they do that, anyway, because it's going to be just doing something else again next week, so hope you look forward to that. Anyway, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. See you next one. Bye, buddy. <laughs>